case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Three brothers and their wives found themselves embroiled in a tax case in 1977. The issue was whether they had to report management fees from two limited partnerships as income. As general partners, the brothers received these fees in exchange for their managerial abilities. The question at hand was whether these fees should be considered as part of their distributive share of partnership profits or as a guaranteed payment under the Internal Revenue Code of 1954. The management fees, which were calculated as 5% of the gross base lease rentals and 10% of all overrides and or percentage rentals, were not actually dispersed to the partners. The partnership had accrued these fees as owing to the partners in its books, but refrained from paying them out. As a result, the fees were not reported as income on the partners' federal tax returns. The tax court had to decide whether these management fees were deductible business expenses of the partnership under Section 707A of the Code. In its ruling, the court held that these fees were not deductible as the partners were performing core duties of the partnership, as outlined in the partnership agreement. In other words, the partners were not engaged in a transaction with the partnership outside of their role as members. The commissioner, however, disallowed a deduction for interest payments accrued on promissory notes due to the taxpayers. The taxpayers had loaned money to the partnership, and these notes represented the owed amount. On appeal, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit concurred with the tax court's interpretation. The court reasoned that the management fees were rightly non-deductible, and that the substance of a transaction should dictate its treatment, rather than the form. The court, though, did reverse the commissioner's original decision disallowing the deduction for interest payments on promissory notes. The case was referred back to the tax court for further proceedings on this particular issue. Overall, the court stressed the importance of applying common sense to tax matters to avoid absurd or unreasonable results. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.